Hi. Um, I'm just going to do a wee job on the, the KTM 1290. Just want to show you something. Um, just hope the light in here is good enough. I'm just going to show you that the height of this bike is quite high. So I'm short legged, I'm 5 foot 8, 31 and a half inch leg. So I can ride it no problem, but I'm on the balls of my feet when I hold it upright. You know, I'd feel better if my feet were flat, but you can't have it always, so I'm on the balls of my feet. So I'm thinking maybe I could lower it a little, just a little bit. So anyway, here's what I got. I got this, it's a lowering kit. That's it, it's aluminium. And what it does, I don't know if you can see the spring in here, it's a big thing similar to that but much bigger at the bottom of the spring and what you do is you replace it with this one and it shortens your shock so it drops the bike by they reckon it's about 20 mil um, so I'll bring the bike down the end a wee bit and what you obviously do is you have to whatever you do to the back you always do to the front so I'll lower the front forks by 20 mil which is just adjustment and um, just slide the four bolts off drop it down that 20 mil tighten it back up um, and then we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Here is the back shock. Here is the spring. And the bit is under the bottom here. So what you have to do is compress the spring. Um, sit it on its stand so as the back wheel's hanging down. Compress the spring. And the bottom bit should come out. And then you just slide that in. It just slips in um, to replace it. Um, and what I bought was, I got these Ballard's off-road spring compressor tool. I just hope this does the job. So, you hook these onto your springs. Put a bit of rubber or something in between this and your springs so you don't scrape the, the white paint off it. Um, and then you just screw it and this compresses your spring right down. Um, one on each side of the spring, so you could have one here and one at the other side. Um, what I'm going to do is try and do it with the spring on, see if it's possible, because I don't see why you have to take it off, really. I could take it off, it's easy enough to do, but I'll, I'll try it with the spring in place, see if I can do it. Um, and if that works, yeah, fantastic. At least I'll be, be able to sit flat-footed rather than just sitting on my balls. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So, first thing is, get your bike on the, the centre stand. See, a lot of people are struggling with this, and it's really easy in the KTM. Put your side stand up, put your bottom one down, and instead of trying to lift your bike, just put your weight on that centre stand like that, and up she goes. There's no pulling or lifting or anything. Just press it hard with all your weight and the bike pops up. So there it is in the centre stand, so next I have to try and work these clamps put them onto the, the spring and see if I can lift it up a wee bit let's see how it goes Well, that didn't quite go to plan what happened was I tried to put the things on uh, the clamps and they just kept slipping off which was a pain in the ass. So I ended up taking the spring off, easy way. Bolt here, take it out, bolt in here, and here, sorry, take it out. There's a plug at the back, which you can see there, and there's one at the top. I made a wee fuck up with that, and I burst a wire, but I've got it all sorted now. So just a matter of putting that back together. I don't know what that one is. If anybody knows, let me know, spare wire. At least I hope it is. Anyway, so I got the, the thing off and, and I found the best way is to clamp these on each side of the spring and then drop that into the vise and crank it with a spanner and then take it out and turn the spring round with the other side in the vise and crank it. But keep it in the vise when you're cranking it or the thing just warps and twists and comes off. Anyway, I got it done. Um, let me see if I've got the old bit. There's the old bit that came off it. 
it got kind of battered and bruised a wee bit. But the 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 new ones on it, you can oh, yeah, get the camera in there. You can see the new one in here. See the thickness of it compared to that. So you're talking near enough a, a spring spar less. So that should drop it. It says 20 mil, it's probably a bit right. Um, and that thing's just as good as what the one was that's on it. It's thick enough, you know. Um, and it should do the trick. So, anyway, yeah, so if you want to do that, the easiest way is to undo the two screws, undo the two plugs, take the back wheel off, and there's a wee cover which goes in here two screws, take the cover off and then once the bolts and the plugs are off you can just pull your spring out and the whole thing drops out dead simple so anyway, I'm going to put this back together and then we'll see what it's like hopefully it'll be a wee bit lower so that's it done the only thing is the side stand I might need to cut a wee bit off and weld it back on but let's see what it's like sits a bit more upright on a side stand when you're sitting it, it hits the ground so yeah definitely much better I could push it forward now without my feet sliding yeah I'm quite happy with that much better feel a lot safer with your feet on the ground eh? but yeah the side stand whoa. I need to watch that. Um, yeah, get these bits, bits put back together now. But yeah, that's it done. So that was just a matter of putting that thing in the back spring and dropping the front forks by 20 mil, the same as the back. Um, two bolts here, two further down, same on the other side. And yeah, and I think that looks quite good. It's definitely a lot safer for me anyway. Now that I can get my feet in the ground. Yeah, definitely, definitely much better. Quite happy with that. Anyway. You need to watch getting off with the side stand being so high, but I'll get that cut back. Anyway, all done. So that's a wee clue on how to lower your bike 20 mil. Um, I don't think you could lower it much more without changing the spring on the back. But yeah, I've got 31 and a half inside leg, and that's quite happy with that now. Anyway, see you later. Bye.